Here's how we wash dishes at Jesus People to control the spread of disease and to keep us all healthy and happy. There's a lot of detail and it's all important. Please review this video anytime to refresh your memory. Cleaning standards are only effective at keeping us healthy if we all work together. Wear a short sleeve shirt, long or short pants, and closed shoes. If your hair is collar length or more, tie it back, braid it, or cover it with a bandana, a scarf, a cap, or a beanie. Wash your hands, scrubbing for 20 seconds. Put on a disposable plastic apron and gloves. Sanitize the clean dish area, spraying the whole area with a light mist of sanitizer, then wiping it down with a clean rag or paper towel. Assemble the machine, making sure the two plugs are properly seated in the drains. Check the spray nozzles for O-rings. If one is missing, sometimes you'll find it inside the collar in the washer. If any rings are missing, you may proceed, but notify the head cook. Switch on the machine. It will take at least five minutes to fill the tanks and bring them up to operating temperature. Sort and organize the dirty dish area. Scrape solid food off each dish into the garbage. Dump liquid food into the sink bowl by the washer and give a quick rinse. Soak everything in the soapy pre-soak sink. As you remove each item, wipe it off with a rag or a scrub pad to remove all solid food such as melted cheese or sour cream. Dishes should already look reasonably clean before they go into the washer. Load dishes into racks, hose them down and send them through the washer. Very large things like cutting boards should go through flat. Use an open rack and tilt the board or pan so its high end is at the front and the low end is at the rear. This will tend to splash clean rinse water into the wash water tank, which is good. If you put the board through the low end first, it will tend to splash soapy, dirty wash water into the clean rinse water, which is bad. Give cups a good twist on the cup brush to get dried milk and coffee stains out of the corners. Please use the purple trays only for cups. If it's going to be a few minutes before you put through another tray, please switch off the machine. Dump silverware into an open rack, no more than one layer of silverware deep. Most folks like to separate silverware from kitchen utensils, but that's up to you. All silverware and utensils must be run through the dishwasher twice. At your earliest opportunity, change the water in the soak sink and the silverware and cup tubs. Rinse out the silverware tub and fill it with hot water, a squirt of soap, and a cap full of bleach. Rinse out the cup tub and fill it with hot water and a squirt of soap. Rinse off the cup brushes and clean out the pre-soak sink. Stick the brushes to the bottom of the soak sink and now fill the soak sink with hot water and one big squirt of soap. It is very important that the person washing dishes who is covered with garbage juice not contaminate the clean side of the dish room. This is why we usually have two people in the dish room, a dirty guy and a clean guy. If you are working as the dirty guy, never touch anything on the clean side of the room. That's the other guy's job. If you are working alone, then when you grab utensil trays to run them through again, be very careful not to touch other clean trays with your slimy gloves, nasty arms, or dirty apron. If you must shift a clean tray further down the outfeed table, grab a piece of paper towel and use it to keep your hands from contacting the tray. Throw away your gloves, wash your hands and arms up to the elbows, and put on new gloves. Hold each dish tray away from your body. Do not let it contact your slimy, nasty apron. If you cannot do this, then replace your apron every time you change from dishwashing to dish put away. Make it easy on yourself. Bring the dish storage cart close to the dish room door. Be careful how you handle dishes so that you do not dangle your nasty slimy apron across a whole cart of beautiful clean dishes. If you find it helpful, please use the dish cart to transport trays of clean dishes to their destination. When putting away purple trays of cups, look for empty trays to remove from the shelf. Then drop off your full tray of clean cups and leave it on the shelf. 
This way, no one ever touches a clean cup after it comes out of the washer until the user grabs it himself. Bring utensils into the kitchen and put everything away. If you do not know where something goes, just ask any kitchen staff. They will be very grateful that you asked. Stay on duty until the kitchen staff and all jacuzzis everywhere have had a reasonable opportunity to bring their dinner dishes down to the dish room. It's considered polite for the dish person to cheerfully accept dishes as late as 6.30 p.m. Similarly, it's considered polite for Jesus people to bring their dishes down before 6.30 p.m. The last thing to go through the machine at the end of your shift should be the silverware and cup tubs. Switch off the machine. Wait a few seconds before you open the doors. Lift the drain plugs. Empty and clean the two sinks. Sanitize and clean all stainless steel surfaces and any nearby walls that may have been splashed. Leave behind no food particles. They are your enemy. Now disassemble the washer, remove the nozzles, rinse them off in the sink, and then set them aside. Remove and clean all the strainers and the drain plugs. If there is a lot of food accumulated on the strainers, then you could have done a better job pre-washing your dishes. Rinse down the interior of the machine. Fill the silverware tub with hot water, soap, and a cap full of bleach. Fill the cup tub with hot water and soap. Hose down the floor and use a broom or squeegee to clean. The goal is to eliminate the food particles. The food particle is the enemy of a healthy community because the food particle is the friend of vermin and bacteria. When in doubt, wash your hands and change your gloves. Water is a cheap, renewable resource. Gloves are inexpensive. One stomach virus is very costly indeed.